Hello friends, I'm Smita Katti and welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. In today's video, let's explore some gouache paint together. So let's get color mixing now, shall we? To begin with, you need a color mixing chart. You can draw this by hand or you can print it, but I would recommend using a watercolor paper. Watercolor paper works best with gouache. You'll also need your gouache paints, a black pen, and a paintbrush. In the description box below, I will list all the supplies used today. Once you have your color mixing chart printed, make sure that you label it with the pack that you're using so that you can refer back to it easily in the future. Now this color mixing chart I have has 10 colors to mix. I'll be using just the 10 basic colors in the set and I won't be using white or black. Make sure that you're writing down the color names in this particular order. For example, I'm pointing to burnt sienna over here and if burnt sienna is the last column, it also needs to be the last row. You don't want to have burnt sienna as the last row and the first column, then you're not going to get the color mixing chart correctly. So I'm mixing my colors directly on the paper today. I'm simply pressing down my tube to drop a little bit of the color into each of the areas. Into each block you want to add one squeeze of the paint from the row color and the column color. And then I chose to mix it right there on the paper. So creating this color mixing chart is one of those things I like to do on days that I don't feel very creative. The days I don't feel like doing an intricate sketch or doing anything detailed but I still want to just take some time to sit down quietly and play with my paint. I often do these charts with the movie in the background with my family around me. This is just like a mindless task. You're just filling in each of the boxes with the required color and it's so satisfying. If you've never created a color chart before, I highly recommend you do it every time you get some new art supply. Because you're mixing the colors right there on the paper, you tend to paint outside of the box a little bit. You can always mix the colors on a palette on the side and then bring the thoroughly mixed color onto the paper and paint in the box. So friends, let me know in the comments below if you have this 12 pack of Artist Love gouache. I would love to learn if you are enjoying the colors or if you found this color mixing chart helpful. For the color wheel on the side, I use that area to show me how each color reacts with the white. So I'm just mixing in white color and that just shows me a nice lighter shade and the color wheel already tells me there's so many prettier colors I can create with this. I love most of the colors that I was able to create by just mixing white which makes me think maybe I just need to buy a big tube of white paint. The color wheel is still wet and you can see how it catches the light but then the other side is completely dry and you can see that it does not reflect any of the light. It is completely matte. Wash paint is very much like watercolors, but it's a little more opaque and it's fun to play with. I've used this in a previous video which I will link up here. I can definitely see myself looking at the different colors and I know right away that these greens that I have over here, they're really pretty. I would definitely mix and create these olive shades by myself. What really impressed me of course was this color wheel. I like the purples, the blues, and the lighter shades are definitely more my vibe than the darker shades for sure. I hope you enjoyed exploring this color mixing chart and are inspired to create one for yourself. Like I mentioned before, I will leave a link in the description box below where you can print this color mixing chart for yourself on my blog. If you have any recommendations for a better quality gouache, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to learn more. I'll see you again in another video. Till then, happy crafting!